Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go ahead and open up an STI Magnum and take a look at which LNA is inside for uh, K and KA band. Uh, we're going to take a look at basically how to open it up and see whether or not we have the, uh, the packaged LNA or the wire bonded LNA. Uh, if you guys are curious on the technical differences between the two types of LNAs inside the detector, watch my video on M3 LNAs and I'll get into a lot of detail between the two different types, pros and cons, etc. Uh, now there's two ways to tell with your Magnum. Number one, uh, you can just go ahead and take a look at the build date right here on the underside of the detector. Uh, the older Magnums, and you know, including the drivers that got converted to Magnums, uh, prior to May of 09, from what I understand, used the better, higher performing wire bonded LNA. Uh, this one right here, uh, this is a newer one. The way to read it, if you take a look, this is gonna be the 31st week of 2014. That's the way you read these last four digits in terms of the, uh, the build date. The ones that were made after May of 09 are gonna be used the, uh, using the less expensive, slightly less performing uh, packaged LNAs. So you can go ahead and take a look at the build date and see for yourself which one is there. From what I understand, sometimes when they do driver to Magnum updates, they actually change this sticker here, so you can't always tell. So if you're curious to see for yourself, you wanna open it up, or for whatever reason you're curious to uh, just take a look inside your uh, Magnum and see which LNA it has. We're gonna go ahead and uh, crack it open and I'll show you exactly how to find out for yourself. Now, a uh, couple things that you're gonna need in order to do this uh, process. Number one, obviously, detector. Uh, number two, you're gonna have to have a way to open it up. Now, uh, from pictures online and talking to other people, I've seen two different types of screws that are used here. Uh, right here, you can see that on this particular Magnum, it uses Torx screws. On the red line that I've opened up and on uh, apparently some of the other Magnums, they actually use standard Phillips screws. So it totally depends on what you've got. Uh, if you have like this, a Magnum with Torx screws, what size do you need? Well, I'm out traveling right now, so I just had to go to the hardware store and uh, pick up the tools that I needed. And uh, from what I'd read online, some people actually were talking about needing the, uh, the T9 sized Torx screw. And uh, I actually tried a couple out at the hardware store and none of the T9s fit, but the T8s, slightly smaller, the T8s actually fit. So I picked up the bit for the T8 as well. See, I got it opened up and stuff. And got back home and uh, tried out the T9. I found out the T9 in this kit actually does work here. So uh, long story short, it looks like the T8 fits and some T9s. Uh, I don't know why there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. I found some of the T9s are slightly too big to make it in there and actually grab the inside of the screw head, uh, but the T8 seem to be working pretty well. Um, for this video, I've got a, uh, a T9 right here that I'm gonna be using. T8 works just as well, so cool. Uh, with that said, um, let's go ahead and open up the Magnum. And now to do that, there's gonna be a couple different screws. We've got uh, four screws right here. And then when we open it up, uh, we're gonna have the whole metal casing for the horn itself. And there's gonna be 11 more silver screws inside that we're gonna have to open up. And it uses, uh, for this particular unit, uh, the same torque screws. So let's go ahead and open it up and uh, dive right in. Okay, we've got the four case screws removed. So we'll go ahead and uh, carefully pop off the bottom of the case. And that's gonna go ahead and expose the main PCB. We'll go ahead and want to uh, remove the lens right here in front of the two horns. Go ahead and set that aside. Okay. And then now if we flip it over, we can go ahead and carefully release the guts essentially from the case. So we'll go ahead and pop it out. Okay. And obviously I don't want to like pull too hard and break or damage anything. So I'm doing this very kind of gingerly. There we go. Okay, awesome. So there is the guts essentially for uh, this Magnum. Now, uh, the Magnum design is a little bit different than the red lines. You can see, uh, for those of you guys who remember when I opened that one up, the uh, buttons in the faceplate were actually on a separate panel. This one is actually uh, attached to the main PCB. So you don't have to remove the, uh, the little ribbon cable that was there. This one just pops right out and it's super easy. So anyways, now that we've got uh, the Magnum actually removed from the shell, you can see right here, we've got a number of other silver screws. Uh, in this case, there's 11 of them. We've got uh, nine wrapped around the sides and then we have two more right here in the middle. So we're gonna need to go ahead and remove uh, those screws so that we can pop off the uh, this top half of the horn casing.
Okay, we've got our uh, case removed here. Go ahead and pull this aside. Let's go ahead and pull off now the top half of this horn. So there we go. We've got it removed. We'll set it down right next to it. And uh, let's take a look at what we've got inside. Now, uh, what we're interested in right here is this guy. This is the LNA for the K and KA band horn. As you can see, there's two horns here. This one is X band. There's the LNA for X band. This horn covers uh, K and KA band. And there is the LNA specifically for this horn. And so if you take a look now, you can see that uh, the two LNAs are actually the same. This is the packaged LNA, and so is this. Uh, because this is one of the newer magnums, again, this one was made in uh, 2014, uh, we know that this one uses the packaged LNA, so it makes sense. We can take a look right there, and it's got the packaged LNA for K and KA band. I'll put a picture up on the screen of what the uh, wire bonded LNA looks like in some of the older magnums, as well as what's in use in the Redline, the original STIR 9500 Ti. Uh, that one uses a slightly higher performing wire bonded LNA. And there you go. That's just a quick way. We can just open it up and take a look. And that right there is going to be our packaged LNA. So uh, cool. Again, if you want uh, more technical information on what that means and what's going on and you know, just kind of more stuff here looking inside the detector. Watch my video on uh, M3 LNAs. We'll get into more detail there. But for those of you guys who are curious as far as opening it up, you can see it's a really, really simple process. We just have the uh, four screws on the bottom. Those pop right out. And then we have the 11 screws right around the horn casing. Take that off. Pop off the top half of the horn casing and kaboom, there is your LNA and uh, you can confirm for yourself which one you have. So as you can see, it's really, really simple. There's no wires to uh, plug or unplug, just a couple screws and a screwdriver, and you can do the whole thing yourself, piece of cake. So there you go. Thanks to Poop for sending me <laughs> his Magnum so I can uh, do this video and giving me permission to open it up so I can share this with you guys. But uh, there you go. There's a look at how to open up the Magnum and find out what LNA you've got. Thanks for watching.